Hi guys, my name is David and welcome back to my channel. So before I get into this video, let me just introduce myself. My name is David, I am 38, I live in the UK. I am a family orientated person. Family is a really big thing for me. I love having conversations with my nan about books and what's going on. I tell her what's going on at work every weird thing that's happened on the train and at work as well. Even though I don't consider myself to be a fat person, I do consider myself to be overweight. I do struggle with my weight every single time I go and eat something at work or on my days off. I always try to have like a struggle with myself. There's always like a fight with the angel and the demons yeah, on either shoulder. Telling me, oh, you shouldn't eat that burger. Oh, it's all going to pile up. And I do let it get to me sometimes. My weight does get me down sometimes. And it gets me even more down sometimes when people that are skinny as a pencil complain that they're fat. When, come on, you're just basically a skeleton with a you know, skin over it. I don't have any real life friends. The last real life friends I had was at university and I haven't physically seen them in years. I do have people in my life that I consider myself friends, such as some people that I've met on this booktube channel. There are a few people at work which I would consider friends, although I haven't been with them out socially outside of work, apart from one where we saw a movie together and that was an okay film. I can't remember what one it was, but that was a good um, movie. We were trying to, yeah, um, see a movie together because he's a really big film buff and I'm a film buff, so yeah. I get on with anyone. I get on well with everyone. I don't like it when people talk behind my back. I'm a very open-minded person. I like to try everything once. You've only got one life, so you might as well go for it. Even though I don't consider myself a funny person, people at work are always saying that I'm funny when I suppose I'm sarcastic and people think that that's funny. I went to university for three years studying media and graphic design because I was really passionate and driven towards that field and I'm a really artistic person. But after I finished uni, I struggled to get into the film industry and I'm working at a cinema, which I absolutely hate. I would go up there and I regret going there. I don't have any fun or enjoyment out of my work whatsoever. I go there purely because it's something I've got to do and get some money and it gives me something to do, I suppose. I love reading. I read every single day. If I don't read for one day, it feels like I haven't accomplished anything. I get on well with pretty much anyone. Despite what their race or gender or way of life is, I get on well with anyone. And if I don't get on with them, I try to be as civil as I possibly can with them. Especially if we're at work, because we've got to like be in the same environment together. So I try to be civil with them, but I get on well with pretty much anyone. So you may be asking yourself, well, David, that's all well and good. And that's all very nice to know you even better now, but... Why are you telling us this? Well, some of you may be aware that I do channel shout out videos. I do this every single month and I shout out one channel, whoever it may be. I just go all through the list of people that I'm subscribed to and I just say, yep, yeah, I'm gonna pick this person. I'm gonna do a whole video on them. I'm gonna dedicate a whole video to their channel and to them as a person. During that video, I put all their thumbnails, I yeah, have little pictures of all their thumbnails on their videos and I put it on the screen so you guys get to know what their videos are like and what their thumbnails look like and it gives you an idea about if you would like them as yeah, a um, subscriber or if you would be interested in watching their videos. It's a very important thing for me to do because I like to give people credit especially if they are putting in all this work and i find enjoyment from their videos and sometimes they get a little bit down about the numbers and i just want to give that person a shout out give them some love 
give them some recognition let them know that someone out there on this wonderful thing was well sometimes wonderful called the internet basically gives a rat sauce about what they're actually doing because doing this is difficult you may be thinking well how hard can it be just set up a camera press record talk about whatever you want and just upload it on you know your channel but i do my channel shout out videos because i want to give that person the recognition and attention that i feel that they rightly deserve whoever it may be i do not care whether it's a guy or a girl and despite what books they talk about i talk about whoever i want i give shout outs to whoever i want and i've got a whole playlist dedicated to this whole thing that I do. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but booktuber shout out or channel shout outs, you know, where I have all the list of all the people that I've shouted out. And this does actually help everyone that I've done shout outs for have really thanked me and it's helped their channel out. I started doing this because, well, because Steve talks books I'm not sure exactly what his channel is called now because I think he's changed it slightly but I'll have the channel up here somewhere but he did a whole series he doesn't do it any more though or if he does it's very very rare where we talked about booktubers and give them a little shout out so that kind of gave me the idea and inspiration to do it the very first one that I did was for a booktuber that I watch she doesn't upload any videos now she hasn't uploaded any videos for a while now and to be honest I'm not expecting her to come back on her channel well not for a long time now but at the time she was feeling extremely down and low about her channel's performance so I thought okay I'm just gonna do a video on her and make a video especially about her and give her some recognition and you yeah, know maybe bump up her subscriber count and give her some yeah attention and then it kind of snowballed from there yes i have done a couple of other videos that are outside of that whole yeah structure thing but they're all shout out videos so i put them all together there was one from john from books of blood and nimiria who expressed their I would say concerns or worries but yeah I think worries is probably the best word about their channel's performance and then shortly after watching these videos I it made me feel so strongly that I had to make a video and kind of a response video to that video that they uploaded on their channel and just said right look look guys you may think about this way right now but trust me I'm on your side and I care I uploaded on my committee tag or tab or whatever it's called I'm gonna say it's the tag that I uploaded a kind of a vote thing about if I was being too nice and yes I am a nice guy that's the thing um I don't think I I mean I can be very mean when I want to be and when I can or when I feel a desire to be but Essentially, I am a really nice guy and I am a very fierce friend. If I support someone, I support them 110%. And if someone has an issue with me giving a Pacific Booktuber a shout out, no matter who their channel is, if anyone at all has any issue with me, who whoever I choose to do a video on, that is their problem. If you don't like my channel, you don't have to watch me. If you don't like my personality, if you don't like my channel as a whole, if you don't like the things I talk about, you're more than welcome to click that unsubscribe button and watch some other booktuber. I make no apologies for who I am and who I, who I decide to give a shout out to. And I stand by who I give recognition to who I decide to give a channel shout out video to, who I decide to upload any links to any of their videos that they 
uploaded recently saying that or oh, you should watch this video it will yeah it's really amazing you should watch this video because i liked it and chances are you will find some enjoyment out of it too if i feel inspired by a specific booktuber to maybe you know i don't know be more artistic and creative in my visuals like you know my pictures and my artwork and my editing and my channel as a whole then that that is my right as a creative person as a booktuber as a youtuber it's my right to feel creative and feel inspired from another channel or a booktuber and of course i will give them recognition and i will give them a mention saying that they inspire me to you know, go in this creative direction so i do not know how this video is going to be received i do not know how many people are going to be watching it and to be quite frank with, with you guys and honest with you guys because i always like to be honest with you i do not really care about the numbers right now because me getting my feelings across and express myself right now is more important than how many thumbs up that this video gets and how many views it gets i've got to be honest with you guys i really have to be honest with you guys recently a booktuber i won't say who was saying stuff about me again i won't say what but let's just say it was in a negative light and this was from someone that i liked that i supported and it made me feel quite shocked it made me feel quite sad it made me feel a bit disappointed because i as i said i like this person and i liked their videos but i felt betrayed and i felt like i was being stabbed in the back and i won't go into the ins and outs because it's private and i don't want to disclose that information on here you hear occasionally about booktube drama and this happening to other channels and you're like okay cool i'm sorry that that happened but i want to stay away from that and thank god it hasn't happened to me and i've always shown my support to other booktubers that that's actually happened to but i never really thought that it would happen to me and i'm trying to process it i'm trying to get past it and i again i have to be honest with you guys I was thinking about taking a break from my channel, but I don't want to. I don't want to take a break because I, I love making videos and I love talking about what I want to talk about. And I, yes, I am still going to be giving channel shout outs. As I mentioned, I did a whole poll on the vote system about how I thought I was being too nice and I thought, should I do, yeah shout outs for videos and i said to and i put it to a vote for you guys saying that should i do or should i continue doing shout out videos the majority of people said that they wanted me to continue doing shout out videos tonight or recently tonight i deleted that post because i came to a realization in my mind that i do not care what other people think right now about me giving shout outs to channels as i said if i want to give a specific channel a shout out whether they are a guy or a girl i will give them a shout out i will shout it from the rooftops i will print it on a t-shirt if i want to if i want to upload links to every one of their videos that they've uploaded then that is my right that is what I want to do because I want to give them some recognition and a chance in the spotlight. So that's all I wanted to say. I could go on and on and on, but I don't want to because I will be repeating myself and all a bit of a headache I've got to be honest with you guys. But hopefully I've got my points across and this is just who I am. This is me and I make no apologies for who I am and what I am. And as I mentioned, if you have a problem with me or a problem with what I talk about or 
me as a person. But if you don't like anything that I talk about, then again, you don't have to watch my channel. <laughs> yeah, that's just been my little spiel. And, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I feel better now, but I wanted to make a video to express how I feel right now. And, yeah, I'm going to continue making shout-out videos despite what anyone else says or thinks or does or whatever. So, yeah. Love it or hate it, it'll still be here. And I will still be here. Better cut it off here, guys, because I don't want to repeat myself. And yeah, it's gone on for a long, it's probably gone on for long enough. So, yeah, I'll see you on my next one.